Siji volunteers from Durban, South Africa, visit care recipients to deliver rice and bread envelopes of blessing and wisdom. From our new series report, we learn how the genetic disorder spinocerebellar ataxia can affect an entire family. Welcome to Dial Headlines. I'm Marilee Shoda. Thank you for joining us. We began today's program in South Africa, where Siji volunteers from Durban recently went to King Williamstown and Port Elizabeth to deliver rice and red envelopes of blessing and wisdom to needy families. While there, they made sure to share their Siji experiences with local volunteers each day. I'm no longer hot-tempered because I've learned to give, just like what Siji volunteers have said. We must be humble and work together. Turning our focus to Mexico, where Xochimilco's Chinampas is an important farming region. However, since it is located in a remote area, the government's earthquake relief aid has not yet arrived. City volunteers have visited the area once again, telling the residents that they will soon be distributing cash cards to earthquake victims. In addition, a team of doctor also gave acupuncture treatments to relieve the pain of the elderly residents. Somos como 60, no más. Somos, somos bastantes agricultores que trabajamos acá. 60 people live here. No, more than that. We have quite a few farmers. We grow lamb's lettuce, spinach, cilantro, radish, and lettuce. These vegetables are in high demand. Este, varias hortalizas que, que piden. Since residents here rely on farming, the earthquake has affected us greatly. We harvest our vegetables and send them to the towns. After that, we do our best to help each other. Despacio, despacio. 
Mi mamá se cayó y se rompió el fémur. Esto de aquí es donde me duele mucho. Y en la pierna, así en el pie, lo que no puede. Y de ahí pues no se ha podido componer. She has not recovered. She has a lot of problems. Her leg hurts a lot and she can't walk. They have their own room and we have ours. My daughter lives separately. We have our own space, but I'm taking care of them. It's a great help for them because we don't have that much money. Next, we learn more from Chinan Pass farmers how the quake has severely impacted their lives. After the quake, the land which floated on the water cracked and sank. Therefore, many farmers were forced to start all over again to slowly rebuild their lives. La gente está un poco, pues... People are saddened by the loss. It's not the same here anymore. Many of the chinapas have sunk and many others cracked. It's all just water now. It's been hard after the quake. Those who were impacted were affected hard. That's the way it is. Everyone here needs to take care of themselves. We don't have much to help others. I get here very early in the morning, like 6 or 7 a.m., and stay until nighttime. I'm here the whole day. I've been working with flowers since I was young. The person who taught me this was Juan Serralo. He was a specialist. After learning from him, I slowly began to take care of the plants. My father-in-law passed away a long time ago. My wife as well. Her name was Cruz Serralo. She was his daughter. They are no longer with us. There's a lot of fish. Finally, there's a lot, and it's all huge carps. I'm going to start over. Who could have guessed this would happen? It's nature. In the Philippines, when Siji's scholarship program began in Cavite's Dreamland Village, Paul John Beliza was among the recipients. Now that he has graduated and started working, Paul John does not forget that Siji's spirit instilled in him as he motivates his entire family to help others less fortunate. 24-year-old Paul John Beliza just finished his graveyard shift as a mechanic at a company at the Cavite Economic Zone, which is a dream job for him. I'm grateful to Zigi for giving me the opportunity to study at a science and technical university and obtain a degree in industrial mechanical engineering. Paul John's parents have four children and they don't often have enough money to send the children to school. Upon Paul John's graduation from high school, his family couldn't afford university tuition, so he can only study three months at a vocational training course. However, under Tsuji's scholarship assistance, both he and his younger brother were able to continue with university, and now they are licensed mechanics. The two have also started a small market out of their home, giving his father, who was a fisherman, and his mother, who was a street cleaner, their own business to look after. Every time there is a Tsuji activity, Paul John's mother actively participates. We don't have the money to donate large sums, but we can use our action to give and do small acts of kindness. The whole family donates to a bamboo coin bank, hoping to pass on Siji's spirit to more people, so that others less fortunate people can turn their life around. Have you seen the Japanese film A Leader of Tears? 
The main character in the film is a young girl who has spinal cerebellar atrophy, a genetic, fatal, and incurable disease that handicaps the body. In Taiwan, there are currently 2,000 some families impacted. While many are afflicted, conditions and onset of symptoms could be different for each sufferer. This disease ends up being a physical burden as well as mental burden for the entire family, especially the caregiver, as there is much financial and emotional cost associated with the degeneration. Next, we meet one family where six out of seven siblings have this disease. Even the strength to open her eyes may be gone as her younger sister has spinal cerebellar atrophy. We want others to know that, although they may be afflicted with this disease, their brain function is still quite clear. Conscious sister is almost imprisoned in a completely immobile body. This is a type of bitterness that few can understand. My sister used to work for a foreign company and was also a manager. Her and her husband were considered to be high-level executives with good income, but in her 30s, the symptoms appeared. Many of the patients fall ill when they are in their 30s or 40s, but we know that this abnormal gene is already present in the embryo. Spinal cerebellar atrophy is quite complex. In simple terms, if the body's neurons are likened to an electrical pole with wiring between them, a patient with spinal cerebellar atrophy sees disease-associated proteins blocking the electrical wires between the poles, leading to poor conduction, which can eventually lead to a breakdown. That is, the patient's nerve cells experience necrosis and cannot manipulate their own muscles. Early symptoms include initially walking unsteadily and their speech may not be clear. Later on, they may lose the ability to take care of themselves as this is an irreversible disease. The disease requires long-term care, which can lead families to collapse. After her sister fell ill, her brother-in-law was responsible for the care, but he had a stroke and the right half of his body was paralyzed and affected his speech. He now frequently stands by his wife's side looking after her. He lost his ability to speak after the stroke, so he wants to record these images of my sister no matter what stage of illness. He records all this with his pen. Here when the two were quite happy together, but now his wife has a tortured appearance on her face, though in the eyes of her husband she is still quite beautiful. Love lets his brother-in-law keep caring for his sick wife. Love also allows his sister the strength to spend a lifetime guarding her six younger brothers and sisters suffering from sinocerebellar atrophy. Spinocerebellar atrophy is a dominant hereditary trait, meaning there could be many cases within a particular family. Like my family, which has seven children, I'm the only healthy one as I have to care for my six siblings at a time. Watching our brothers and sisters suffer from this illness has been hard for the eldest sister, Zhu Sui Ping. She also witnessed the death of her mother. In the end, my mother chose to commit suicide. Of course, the shadow of suicide constantly haunts me. Suffering from a rare disease can be a big burden for a family, whether it's money or medical resources. It can also have a big impact on society. According to statistics, there are more than 2,000 patients suffering from spinal cerebellar atrophy in Taiwan, which means before the establishment of a special association in 2001 that many families felt helpless. 
Many felt powerless when caring for those with multiple disabilities. This led many families to live with no dignity. All they want is respect for life, which is a type of love. Zhu Suiping founded the Taiwan Spinal Cerebellar Atasia Association to extend love to sick patients and their families. Spinal cerebellar atrophy is a congenital genetic disease, so of course there's no medicine so far which can stop the deterioration. Some people think that this rare disease may have nothing to do with them, and though this incidence is quite rare, it is often associated with heredity. Should a family care for someone with this illness, the impact is quite large, causing tremendous mental and physical stress. So our next episode continues to examine the difficult balance that families and patients suffering from the disease must endure. In Vietnam, heavy rain in October has led to severe flooding in Hao Bien province, displacing many local residents. In the aftermath of the flooding, more than 10 city volunteers from Taiwan and Vietnam travel long distances to the disaster area to distribute aid supplies to the impacted. Days of heavy rains in October have devastated Vietnam, causing mudslides in Hua Bin province and destroying houses. City volunteers drive a car and ride on boats to deliver the aid supplies to the disaster area. Back then, I was still hospitalized. I didn't know what to do with my two children at home. Without electricity, we did not know where to turn for help. The distribution site is an assembly hall under construction. The volunteers work together to set up the distribution venue. After relaying the supplies, the volunteers respectfully hand the affected residents warm winter clothes and bags of rice. The flood was serious, destroying my home. I'm grateful to the help of charity organizations. No one wants to encounter natural disasters. Thank you for caring for us. I want to wish you good fortune on behalf of the local residents. Since some affected residents have ridden boats to receive the aid supplies, the volunteers help them carry the items to the port. Seeing the smiles on the faces of the affected residents, the volunteers are deeply touched. Then the volunteers head to the tent area to distribute emergency cash for the disaster victims. Besides giving them monetary aid, the volunteers have also brought them much-needed spiritual support. Returning our focus to Taiwan, to prepare for the upcoming Siji Year and Blessing ceremonies, Siji volunteers in different regions are making red envelopes of blessing and wisdom. In Hualien, volunteers and more than 20 medical professionals from Hualien City Hospital are working hard to assemble the red envelopes, which will be filled with their best wishes. For the medical professionals who are used to carrying the medical equipment, folding the red envelopes can be a challenge. We use the telescope while conducting surgeries. To make the red envelopes of blessing and wisdom, we need to wear glasses. It's important to do the job well so the recipients can feel the best wishes. 4,500 red envelopes will be handmade in Hualien. To help everyone carry out the job, the volunteers have come up with some tools. Placing the needle and the glue together, less glue will come out. With less glue, we won't damage the paper. Therefore, we can make beautiful red envelopes. More than 20 medical professionals from Hualien City Hospital are making the red envelopes of blessing and wisdom. Holding glue instead of medicine, they're ready to make the red envelopes imbued with their best wishes. Music can help cultivate one's temperament, and if exposed to properly, music can also help build character. Tsuji School in Indonesia is exposing young children to Tsuji songs with upstanding lyrics and content to help them develop a correct outlook on life and build up their moral character. These young children are playing a game and singing as they are all enjoying themselves. They're also singing meaningful lyrics, which can help cultivate children's good moral character. 
Master Jing Yan has given us so much positive energy. She wants us to pass this message of love and virtue. During the early morning session, students can listen to good music. This music lets children feel relaxed and also helps them absorb knowledge. Musician Chen Ta often creates her own songs as she is singing with her daughter and helping spread warm feelings in this family. I want to express myself through music as it will sound a little smoother and we hope it won't feel forced. If the information is spread and not too complicated, then children will easily absorb this message, learn how to live a moral life, as well as enjoy good music. It is the second year that Siji New Zealand chapter is supporting the Christmas shoebox gifts event. As many toys, school supplies and clothes have been collected, event sponsors have asked the students from the Siji Academy to help package the gifts and make greeting cards. Siji volunteers have also arranged a festive musical event for the Stroke Club and the elderly community they have regularly taken care of to welcome the holiday in advance. Every time they meet, the Tsuji song We Are Family connects everyone's heart closer together. There's been the Māori, that's uh, our culture is very similar to, to your culture. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so that, uh, we are a big family. Yeah, yeah. we are indeed. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Big whānau. Uh, big whānau. Yeah. Big whānau. Big whānau. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ricky, then Merry Christmas to you and wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Although it's warm and sunny summer weather, Tsuji New Zealand chapter still went to 12 places in the community to decorate for Christmas. And I've been with the Stroke Club for ne over 10 years, nearly 12 years. And I'd like to thank very much for all the Tsuji for helping us. Rosa, whose children are not around, always hugs and kisses Tsuji volunteers. <laughs> The elderly also know the power of paying the love forward. So this is my little donation to the foundation to help you Thank to you continue much. your Thank good you. work. <laughs> Doing good deeds requires participation from people with good hearts. Students from the Tsuji Academy's Chinese class help wrap Christmas gifts. This organization is called Samaritan's Purse. Every December, they host an event called Operation Christmas Child, asking people to pack toys and school supplies at home into a shoebox. They will later give these beautiful shoebox gifts to the children in need. Give you a nice gift and we care for people. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. In the United States, the volunteers from California continue to shower the elderly with their company. Recently, they visited elderly Siji volunteers who are ill and made sure to share with them updated news about Siji. We will leave you with these images at the end of the program. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.